France seems tired of endless prototypes and has finally decided to get serious. This reality was confirmed when reports emerged that France has officially given the green light for the serial production of the VSR-700 uncrewed aerial system. This is no longer just a technology demonstrator designed to look pretty at air shows, but a real binding contract awarded by the French Armament General Directorate, or DGA, to the Defense Consortium of Airbus Helicopters and Naval Group. This strategic agreement covers the production of the first six units, targeted to be fully operational by 2028 as part of France's latest military programming law. This move is the ultimate validation of the SDAM program, transforming a long experiment into an organic combat asset that will be deployed on the French Navy's frontline frigates, marking a new era in the integration of uncrewed systems within a European maritime environment that is heating up rapidly. The context for this accelerated procurement is rooted in a shift in French military doctrine toward high-intensity warfare. The French Navy realizes that in a modern conflict against a peer adversary, surface ships are incredibly vulnerable if they are blind to threats beyond the horizon. For years, reliance on crewed helicopters like the NH-90 Cayman or the Panther has had a fatal flaw. The physical limitations of human crews and the risk of losing pilots whose training is incredibly expensive. The VSR-700 arrives to fill this critical gap, offering persistent surveillance capabilities that allow ship commanders to detect incoming missile threats or enemy fleets much earlier. This is about significantly expanding the ship's defensive perimeter with zero risk to personnel, a doctrine of survival that has now become an absolute priority in Paris. Technically, Airbus's design approach for the VSR-700 is a case study in military pragmatism. Instead of building a new airframe from scratch, which would cost billions in research and take a decade to develop, they modified the Gimbal Cabri G2 light civil helicopter, a platform already proven for its reliability worldwide. With a maximum takeoff weight in the 700 kilogram class, this platform sits in a perfect sweet spot, compact enough to operate from a standard frigate flight deck in rough sea state 3 or 4 conditions, yet robust enough to carry heavy tactical sensor payloads. One of the most crucial technical features often overlooked by laymen is its autonomous landing system. Using high-precision deck finder technology, the VSR-700 is capable of landing on a ship deck that is pitching violently in the waves without any human intervention, a capability that sets it apart from land-based drones forced to go to sea. Digging deeper into the propulsion aspect, the decision to use a converted Thielert Centurion diesel engine is a logistical stroke of genius. This engine has been modified to drink JP-8 or F-44 fuel, the exact same fuel type used by the mothership's gas turbines. This drastically simplifies logistical challenges, as there is no need to store highly flammable and dangerous aviation gasoline, or AFGAS, on board a warship. The durability of this diesel engine also provides an endurance of 8 to 10 hours, far exceeding the capabilities of any crewed helicopter, allowing a single drone unit to monitor a strategic strait all night long without stopping. For the initial configuration of this serial production, the DGA has ordered the ISR variant, standing for Intelligence, Surveillance, and Reconnaissance. The sensor package it carries is comprehensive, including a tactical maritime surveillance radar, likely a variant from Dyad's Marine, optimized to detect small targets like submarine periscopes or fast attack craft amidst the chaos of ocean clutter. Additionally, there is an electro-optical system for visual target identification day and night, and an AIS receiver. However, the real brain lies in the system integration handled by Naval Group through the Steeris mission system. This technology ensures the VSR-700 is not just an isolated flying camera with limited data bandwidth, but a sensor node directly connected to the ship's combat management system. Data is partially processed on the drone for efficiency, then presented directly to the combat information center, enabling instant and accurate missile firing decisions. When compared to its main competitor, the U.S. Navy's MQ-8C Fire Scout, the VSR-700 offers a different, more European operational philosophy, efficient and labor-intensive. 
The Fire Scout is a heavy system weighing nearly three tons, which often consumes a ship's full hangar capacity, forcing commanders to choose between carrying a drone or a helicopter. Conversely, the VSR-700 is designed as a complementary asset. Its efficient size allows a single frigate to carry a heavy crewed helicopter for anti-submarine missions, while simultaneously carrying the VSR-700 for routine patrols. This maximizes flight deck utility without sacrificing the manned flight capabilities that remain essential for SAR missions or special forces insertion. From a geopolitical standpoint, this mass production decision is an aggressive declaration of French industrial sovereignty. Europe is striving hard to reduce reliance on U.S. defense technology and avoid potential export regulation hurdles like ITAR, which often restricts who they can sell weapons to. By fully mastering the VSR-700 technology from top to bottom, France guarantees the operational freedom of its own navy and opens export opportunities without third-party vetoes. Bruno Even, the CEO of Airbus Helicopters, has explicitly targeted the global export market. This is a signal to nations in Southeast Asia or Latin America that need advanced maritime drone capabilities for their light frigates, but are reluctant to be politically tied to Washington. The establishment of a serial production line, which even refers to as a new industrial structure, demonstrates Airbus's seriousness in seizing the market share for this medium-class tactical drone. Economic aspects and industrial sustainability are strategic considerations that cannot be ignored. In a modern warfare scenario that demands a quantity of assets, lessons learned from conflicts in the Black Sea, drones must be affordable yet survivable. The decision to use a civil helicopter base, where spare parts are widely available in the commercial market, significantly lowers the VSR-700's life cycle costs compared to pure military platforms. This efficiency allows navies to deploy more sensor units at sea with a measurable defense budget. The production scalability prepared by Airbus ensures that France can rapidly increase the number of these drone fleets if the security situation deteriorates and industrial flexibility rarely possessed by conventional arms manufacturers. Looking ahead, the VSR-700 promises broader tactical evolution through manned-unmanned teaming, or H-teaming capabilities, which are being matured in the Ophelia project. Airbus has demonstrated the ability of crewed helicopter crews to control this drone from their cockpit as a loyal wingman. Imagine a scenario where the mother helicopter stays in a safe zone, while the VSR-700 is sent forward to bait enemy air defense radars or perform laser target designation for anti-ship missiles. Although the current focus is on ISR, this platform is multi-role, with future development potential to carry sonoboys to hunt submarines or even an armed scout role with light rockets. This six-unit contract is just the beginning of a comprehensive transformation of French naval power toward the era of fully digital networked warfare. So what do you think about the news above? Let me know.